Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you uh, a problem that one of my customers have came across, and I would like to show you how to share it, how to solve it. So I'm in a team site and I have a document library, um, and I have uh, some folders, a title, and a, a choice column, which is called period. So let's just look how it looks. And uh, these are the values, yeah, by default. Currently, it's just, uh, uh, you can enter one value and that, that was enough. Uh, but all of a sudden the user wants to, to add multiple values. So he w goes to the drop down, clicks the column setting, edit, and he clicks more options and he marks allow multiple section. He presses save and he gets an error message. This type of column cannot be changed because it's current, currently being indexed. Please try again. So the user waited and waited and waited and nothing happened. So he contacted me and I thought and I said, well, I think there might be a serious problem. But then I remembered if it's been indexed, then maybe uh, it's it's something that we actually will uh, need to uh, look in the settings. So uh, I go to the settings, scroll down to the index, and actually I see this column. Now I also read in uh, some other places, let's open here the, the comment, and actually we will see here some comments that say what type of columns can be indexed and we see it supports single choice single values numbers currency date people and yes no but it does not support multiple line text and choice multi-value calculated pictures and custom columns so actually this is the problem um so to solve it, actually, we'll click on this period column, we'll delete it, and now this column is no longer indexed, and if we go to the document library and try to uh, set it for multi-values, we will succeed. Let's click on more, let's click on allow, let's press save, hallelujah. Now let's see, let's... Uh, Mark, let's take, for instance, this documents and we'll go to the properties and we will choose a choice that will have one or two or three values. And this is the solution for all of those. So you see all of these. So having an index on the column is only possible uh, for um, if you have a single value you want multiple you need to delete that from the indexing and uh, that's the way to do it it makes sense actually because if you have how can you make an index on, on multi-values so this is what I wanted to show you and uh, hope you enjoyed it goodbye